Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome to another video. It's going to be like a chit chat um, type of video. I have a lot to tell you guys, like a lot of shame, I'm sure you've noticed because I didn't have a video up this week at all, well, this past week at all, so it's just been like a crazy, crazy week of trying to get myself together, <laughs> get myself into a new routine. I'm going to be using the 35 Eye Palettes today from Morphe. I'm going to do like a pastel kind of look um i'm really excited about this look i've kind of been thinking about it uh for a while so i'm excited but yeah like i kind of forgot like what i actually wanted to do with this palette um and, I, and this is like the first time i've actually opened it up to look at it once again so anyways if you guys aren't already subscribed please make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button and let's roll the intro So I actually have two looks that I've been wanting to do. I don't know if I want to do the the green here, the peachy color, and like the pinky reddish color, or if I want to do the mint, the blue, and the purple. <sighs> I swatched them on my um, my little towel here, and I can see the three color combo, and I'm still undecided. Ah. But I'm going to use my ABH eye primer to prime my lid and then I'm just going to go ahead and um, um, start on the eyeshadow, but I'm going to bring you guys closer. Okay, so I think I'm going to go with the, um, the green, orange, and pink, or green, pink, and orange. I think I might do that because... I did kind of do a mint look already. So I think, I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm trying to figure out how I want to do it. If I want to do it green, pink, orange, or if I want to do green, orange, pink. I think I might do green, orange, pink. Okay, so I'm going to take this like pukey green color right here. This is the shade Echo right here it literally looks like peas like baby food peas so a lot has changed as i've mentioned so i remember i told you guys a while ago um that i was thinking about getting a new job i felt like i needed to get out of the house i felt like i needed um some social interaction and i ended up applying to a bakery shop um, just on a whim one day, my mother-in-law sent me that the bakery shop that we love and that did the cupcakes for my wedding was hiring. And I was like, oh, you know, it's something to do. It's something to get out of the house, something to do. And um, I just went ahead and applied through Facebook and just did it like that. And then she called me and set up an interview and I told her what my availability was. And it wasn't, it's not a lot because I do makeup on the weekends and I, um, yeah, I do makeup on the weekends and then, you know, I need some time to film. So I told her pretty much they're closed on Mondays. So, uh, it was Tuesday, what did I tell her? Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So she was like, okay, that's cool. You know, she was looking for something a little different and she said she would keep me in mind if she were to find someone who could work the other days that she needed. So long story short, she called me one day when I was working out last week with my mom, or not last week, the week before last, because last week was my first week. And um, at first I was apprehensive because I had just gotten some sponsorships um, and I had just gotten like pretty much a bigger workload when it comes to YouTube and Instagram. So um, I felt like I wasn't really in the spot for it, but I also um, was like it would be a good, you know, a little part-time job to save some money, have some money, you know, do things like that or whatever. Have some extra money besides like what our bills already cover. Be able to save, be able to splurge, you know, whatever it may be. So I felt like it might be a good, a good deal. So 
I talked to Jack about it and Jack was like, you know, whatever you want to do. I just used the shade Coral Cloud. Now I'm going to go in with Sky High. Um, I talked to Jack about it and Jack, you know, was like, whatever you want to do. I'm here to support you pretty much. Like, it's whatever you ultimately want to do. And I'm like, okay, you know, that's like, like that, that's, so sometimes I look like, sometimes I'd like for Jack to actually tell me what to do. <laughs> like, I, not actually tell me what to do, but like, be like, oh no, babe, I think you're fine. Like you, you got a lot going on this month. Like it's not the time. And sometimes I want him to be like, oh sure, do whatever you want to do. But some of those times I don't want to make that decision. So I was just like, yeah, like, I don't know. So I ended up calling her back because I let my mom convince me that it was a good idea. So my mom was like, oh yeah, you should do it. And I'm just like, I don't, I just didn't feel like at this point in time, it was like exactly what I needed, especially with the content that I have to produce coming up and things like that. So, um, so yeah, so I didn't feel like I, I needed to do that at this moment, but I still thought that it was a good idea and you know, I applied to it, so why not do it? So I called her back and I said, yeah. So I started this past Tuesday cause they're only were open through Tuesday through, the, Tuesday through Saturdays. So um, I started this Tuesday and everything was great. Um, I just, you stand on your feet all day. Like, and I'm obviously not used to it. I'm used to a sedentary lifestyle, at least for the past two years. So when I worked at Walgreens, I was on my feet for eight hours besides my lunch break. And I absolutely hated it. And that was part of the reason that I left Walgreens. I absolutely hated being on my feet all day. Um, I hated not being able to sit down and rest my feet and all of that. So right now I'm struggling with like, I like the job and I definitely like the social interaction that I get. I really, really like that. Um, I thought this pink was going to be darker, uh, but it's not. So now it just looks like green, green. <laughs> um, but, uh, I forget what I was saying. Anyways, I just, I just really dislike the standing on my feet all day. And now I'm at the point where I'm just like, do I really want to do this? Like, do I really want to stick with this? Um, because I don't know. I don't know. And I already told her like, you know, if I were to fall pregnant, like that's, that's it. Like I'm going to be leaving because I'm going to be a stay at home mom, at least for the first part of their life, like the first year or two. I don't know what's going to happen after that. Probably I'll still be a stay at home mom because I'll probably be pregnant with a second child <clears throat> if all goes well. But that's pretty much where I've been. I have been struggling to figure out where my YouTube fits in because I the first day that I worked, y'all, not even kidding, I came home. I work 9 to 3.30. Um, I came home and I fell asleep. Like, I literally came home, got out of my work clothes, got into my pajamas, got into the bed, and slept. And I slept from like 4, 4.30ish until 8 o'clock. And then I got up, <laughs> had dinner. Went back to sleep and slept until, or I went back to sleep at 12. So it was just, it was, it, it's taking some getting used to. Um, Wednesday was a little better. Um, I was still extremely tired on Wednesday. Um, and then Thursday was fine. But Thursday I had felt so drained already that I couldn't even come home and film. My plan was to get off at 3.30, come home and film. But I couldn't even come home and film. I felt like I was just that exhausted. I felt like all of my energy had been expelled. And I was just like, oh. So I didn't even come home and film. And then today is Saturday. I actually don't have any clients this weekend. So I was like, you know, Lon, you might as well 
go in there and film today so she don't have any clients and you know get some work done for the week so i plan to film today plan to film saturday sunday and plan to film on s monday but i had a talk with my manager and she was like you need to have a dedicated day off and i just don't know when that day is going to be or how i'm going to implement it because right now I feel like I'm not taking care of my YouTube as best as I should be. And I don't want it to get like that. Like this week, I didn't like not having a, a video. Like I didn't have one video, you know, and I didn't like that. So I'm just trying to figure out the best, the best of both worlds in my Hannah Montana voice. <laughs> so I'm just trying to figure out where everything fits in, where my schedule goes. Oh, and don't forget that Jack and I are volunteer coaches. So... We are volunteer soccer coaches for my niece's soccer team that starts next Thursday. So, yeah, like it's just, it's going to take me some time getting used to. So I really need you guys to bear with me, be patient with me. Um, you guys know I love this job. I care about this job. Um, I really want to, you know, grow and be the best YouTuber that I can be, definitely. But I'm just trying to get everything together right now. So bear with me. Okay, so I am actually going to wear these Mink by Kitty Lashes. Um, I'm not sure the style, the, the lash style name, but I'm wearing these today. I am going to go ahead and do my other eye and everything off camera, and then I'll be back. Okay, you guys, so I am finally back. Ah, I filmed, like, three videos. Like, obviously, the makeup, and then, well, four, technically, because it did the makeup and then I did the Instagram eye and then I did the foundation routine and then I did the hair so it's been a minute but um but yeah I'm gonna use my uh ColourPop BFF ColourPop Time Shayla BFF number four lip liner I absolutely love this lip liner um I wanted to do something different with the hair just because I felt like it just being down would be kind of, you know, it's kind of 80s, you know, I've got the off the shoulder, um, sweater, it's not a sweater, it's a sweatshirt, cut sweatshirt, and then I thought the pigtails and the curls would be cute, so, I don't know. Okay, and for lips, I'm going to use my Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in Knock on Wood. With this look, I wanted something a little more um, straight, like nude. So, that's why I picked this color. But, now that I see what I have going on in the eyes, a peachy nude would have been cute because of that peach in the middle. But... This works. It's cute, cute. I love this color. It looks also ruben. Okay, so I'm going to use my ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Fantasia. I love, 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 love this gloss. It just gives such a glossy look. It doesn't give too much color. And I like that. So it doesn't like alter whatever color I have underneath of it. Okay, you guys, so that wraps up the look. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's It turned out way prettier than I imagined. Um, I am interesting. Interesting. <laughs> I'm kind of interesting. I'm interested to see how the purple, green, and blue would look. I think it would be such a cute look as well. Uh, so I might do something like that. Maybe, you know, I've just been into the pastels. I think pastel is just like the pastel color family it's just so pretty I, 
I love both neon and pastel because I feel like they're complete opposite. I feel like neon is oversaturated and then pastel kind of has some of that saturation taste taken away. And I just think that it looks beautiful either way. So those are the two like trends, so to speak, that I'm really into right now. Um, so yeah. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you guys so much. And don't forget to subscribe before you go. Also, just bear with me throughout these next couple of weeks. I mean, the first week I really needed you guys to bear with me because I didn't know how I was going to feel after working all day. Um, granted, it's only three days a week, but um, last, okay, so last weekend, last Saturday, Friday, Saturday, I was really busy, Sunday as well. And so I took off that Monday, like not off that Monday, but I didn't film that Monday because I was that was like my day to myself. And then I worked Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And then Friday, I felt so overwhelmed from working all week that I was like, I need another off day. And then here we are Saturday. And I'm actually able to sit down and film and not like lay in the bed and like recoup. <laughs> Literally all day yesterday, I read an entire book and it felt so good to do that after working all week. So thank you guys so much for bearing with me. Um, we're going to get back to our regular scheduled programming. Um, you might see this look in a couple of videos within the next couple of you know days or weeks because i'm gonna you know try to mumble around the videos that i am able to film this week so yeah i love you guys so much i will see you guys in the next video and